Richard Serra, he was born on November 2nd, 1938. He is a uh, minimalist sculptor, sculptor. He is known for his grand sculptures that uh, change the environment. We covered him just a tiny bit in our 40th episode on the time capsule when we were talking about Tilted Arc. Um, so when you think of Richard Serra, those who probably know him better than I have more to say. Um, but when I'm looking at it, it seems like very uh, imposing sculptures. They might have a brutal edge to them, even though I'm told that that's not what they're like at all. Um, they're hard. They are usually prone to the elements. Um, you see different patina surfaces on them that suggest aging. Um, and they really become a metaphor for life and how small we are. And in the grand scheme of things. Well, and I didn't mean to, you know, suggest that we the notion a, of a... We had a conversation before this. <laughs> when you're in the room with a piece of core 10 steel that's several inches thick, two mm. to three inches thick, towering above you 14 feet high, um, it, it can have a very... It obviously has an imposing nature. It makes you feel very small. The weight of this thing is absolutely gargantuan, right? But the uh, at the same time... The, the, def, by defying the notion of the material and giving it this lilting kind of uh, gesture where it just leans a little mm. bit, there's a poetry in that. And there so I is. find that while Sarah does come from a, a family where his father was a shipyard worker and he spent his life around these massive slabs of core steel, thus influencing the work, and has this kind of, you know, personality that is, you know, not exactly warm and fuzzy mm -hmm. the works do sort of defy that to some degree now i had an image up here a little bit earlier that goes back to some of the works that he is in fact also very well known for in the canon of art history and that's you know some of these thrown lead pieces where early on in his sculpture uh making he was taking molten lead and throwing it into spaces and this is sort of the early kind of working that material. It kind of crosses two boundaries, right? He's working that material in a way that has that kind of fluidity, thus referencing some of the newer works in a weird kind of way, given their sort of fluid kind of feel in their monstrous presence. But then it also has this foot in abstract expressionism, which this was on the heels of. So you can think about Pollock and Pollock's throwing of the paint onto the canvas. Here we have Sarah throwing molten metal onto the floor. There's, there's clearly a connection between those two areas. But then Sarah does make a departure from this kind of work and ultimately winds up landing in a place that begins to sort of explore the nature of the materials in a um, um, more material form, mm. right? and leaning them up against each other and exploring their weights and whatnot. So that was just my take. I still feel that there is an imposing nature to this work. There is. Now I would like, I think I told you earlier, I'd like to hear the acoustics. Like if I were close to a, a sculpture, I did see an image with someone playing the saxophone when he was in uh, walking around the sculpture and I would love to hear it. So yeah. it goes with that whole sensual uh, nature that art can have. So yeah. Completely. Yep, Richard Sarah, November 2nd, 1938.